We've got Eaton Wick manager uh, Colin. I'll ask you for, for your thoughts and reaction to, to quite a thrilling and entertaining 5 4. Unfortunately, a defeat to, to Santos Town today. Yeah, uh, gutted to be honest. Uh, it's a, a really good start from us. We, I think we scored in about 30 seconds, so got us off to a flying start. Um, and we actually led three times through the whole match, so uh, to have come away with a 5 4 loss is uh, very frustrating. Um, however, you know, we've, we've thrown a team together this year that um, was kind of out of the ashes of the team from last year. We lost a lot of, a lot of players, a lot of good players. Um, so we've brought in uh, a good number of uh, new players. So it's difficult to uh, sort of see how the game was going to go. Uh, really pleased with the performance. I think, you know, we deserve to at least get something out of the game. If not win, then definitely result because I think you know both teams had a good amount of pressure uh, through the 90 minutes yeah. So it's the, your, your first game of the season and playing against the Sanders side who have already got a game under the belts and, and a win looks like a new team for you but you started really well going inside the first minute and a, and a potential goal of the season as well in that first half. <laughs> yeah yeah definitely I mean Dino's uh, Dino scored an absolute cracker they they managed to pull it back 1-1 and then literally from the kickoff, I was almost sort of standing down to one side. I didn't almost see the beginnings of it. And then he scored from probably about 55 yards. And uh, it's one of those ones that when you see it on TV in the Premier League, you, you know, you're almost willing for it to go in. And I looked up and, and, and it was already sort of in the air and on its way. And the, the keeper uh, scrambled back as quickly as he could. But yeah, absolutely cracking finish. I mean, like... You know, you got there. we gave the man of the match just because of that alone. Um, but you know, to be honest, he's a, he's a holding centre midfielder for. He struggled for minutes last year, and I've really tried to throw him into the mix this year. Um, he's played three and Wick before, so he, you know he's, he's very familiar with the, with the area of the team and the setup. And uh, you know, he went out and did a great job and, and, and played that role really, really well. Fantastic finish. I, I think he'll be getting goal of the season at the end of the season. That's for sure. And uh, going into the second half, um, I think Sanders had their keeper to thank for, for, for keeping them in the game with three or four fantastic saves and, and then quite a, a heartbreaking own goal quite, means you leave them with nothing at, right at the end of the game yeah um, yeah their keeper did really well actually uh, you know he made a, a couple of mistakes in the first half but he made up for it certainly in the second half he had uh, two two situations where he made literally two double saves on the bounce so um, you know, really frustrating for us. He made one, you know, directly down to his down to his left, and then straight up into the top left-hand corner. And you're sitting there thinking, oh, it's got to be a goal. It's got to be a goal. And he managed to just pour it out the top corner from nowhere. So uh, you know, maybe it was uh, written in the stars for him. And then, yeah, just uh, really frustrating. The the own goal at the end. Uh, Jordan uh, playing left back. He had a fantastic game. Didn't really deserve it in all fairness. But you know, as we said, uh, you know, I said in my team talk at the end there, that's that's football. If you win win some you lose some I don't think we deserve to lose today but as I say it's football so um, it, it is what it is yeah, unfortunately a, a defeat today but there are certainly some positives with this new side start coming together and what's going to be you know it's going to be a long season yeah definitely I mean I, I think I didn't really know what I was going to end up with this season and we started the season slightly later because I knew I wouldn't have the chance to get the players signed up in time for the beginning of the season and then obviously with uh, the uh, news, sad news last week of uh, Queen Elizabeth II. Um, we obviously had a further weeks delay, uh, so it was really good to get out there today. And like I said, I didn't really know um, what uh, what we were going to end up with um, and what kind of side we were going to end up with. But we've got some good numbers now. Still need a couple more players. A couple of key places I really need to strengthen. But you know, we've got some good numbers turning up, and we've had uh, you know been doing training since the beginning of July. So. Um, to it but yeah I think a great performance actually from a relatively new but newly put together team um, and should have got a result but uh, you know uh, have you set any any targets for the, for the season ahead or are you just going to see how, how this new look team sh sh shapes up over, over the first few weeks and months of the season yeah pretty much I mean normally I go out there with an idea of you know we want to finish uh, in, in the top three or you know I feel sometimes that we have a squad that's good enough to probably challenge for the league but for this season I think uh, the most important thing is that we try and get some we you know, try to get some younger players involved in the club uh, we want to really grow from there and hopefully that will lead into the future so no real aspirations for the for the season I'd like to you know if we can finish top half of the table then I'll be really pleased with that um, considering I have you know literally thrown together thrown together a team of uh, people who a lot of people didn't even know each other, you know. I've done a lot of advertising on Facebook, I've done 
1,500 flyers around the area over at Power League and at Goals. Um, we've worked really, really hard to bring in some new players, so it's, it's good to see that the old-fashioned tactics of trying to advertise for players still works, even though you know social media is, is there. Um, certainly, people have seen flyers in the village, and uh, four, five or six of the players have actually got who started today, or who are playing for the club today have actually come from the local village, so that's really great news for the club going forward. Well, uh, Colin, unlucky today, but best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Thank you.